Recent statistics revealed that there are as many as six knife attacks every day in Greater Manchester alone. To find out more about this pressing issue, we headed to the No Knives More Lies press conference in the heart of the city. What, what we find is there are a number of reasons why young people carry knives or may consider they need to carry knives. And that can be anything from bravado to peer pressure, bullying, uh, protection, a whole host of reasons that we come across. There's no one particular reason why a young person may carry a knife. The message we're trying to get across is that even if you don't carry a knife, for example, but you're with a friend who does carry a knife and they get stopped for carrying a knife and you're caught in a situation, you also could be in court for that. I think it's very often genuine, genuine fear um, that other, they think other young people are carrying knives and they therefore need to carry knives themselves in order to, order to protect themselves. And one of the issues is about how do you break that fear um, and that's by giving them self-confidence that there are other things they can do uh, to look after themselves rather than, just carrying, rather than just carrying a knife. I'd say in Manchester knife crime isn't a major problem. A lot of the problem is when it's raised in the newspapers and the government they comment on it. Everybody assumes it's far worse than it is. Clearly the police think that they are doing enough to combat knife crime. But do the public agree? No. They're all put. The police. Well, I think they are doing enough, but they probably could do more. What I think, you, in Manchester, you never see a policeman about. And that's I something. think that's very bad. Izzy Hodgkinson lost her place at school after an incident with a knife. She feels very strongly that the police aren't doing enough to tackle knife crime. It all started when I was in high school. I was about 15. I was trying to find some counselling in the school grounds and some girl um, in a year below me called me a name which I didn't like um, and I ended up pulling a knife out on her. She went, give me a D, give me an I, give me a K, give me an E, what does that spell? Dyke! And then I just flipped. Izzy learnt the hard way that carrying a knife will only lead to trouble. She was expelled from school and now she thinks it's about time the police start doing more. Kids are carrying knives in places that it's obvious that they would, but the police just don't check. They don't actually search the kids, which, if it's just, they're looking suspicious like they're carrying something, they should, che they should check them, because otherwise it just goes unnoticed and then people get hurt. I try and like recreate, like with a spoon or something, I recreate like knife crime situations and I try and teach them ways to defend themselves without using any weapons. Well, when I do that, it makes it easier because then they don't actually carry knives, they just try and use themselves to defend themselves. So it seems that the police are not overly concerned with knife crime in Manchester, but for the public, knives continue to be a very serious threat.